Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, this is Gio. Today is uh, August 26th, Thursday at 4.47. I wanted to go ahead and uh, do another daily vlog real quick. I haven't been able to do any videos because lately because I've been in the middle of uh, trying to find a place to live. Um, and uh, found a place. Uh, it's pretty good. I like it. I got a roommate now, so it's all good. Good guy. Um, pretty good dude. Um, so uh, I am going to start recording um, video game uh, playthroughs. And um, I'm also going to be, uh, I'm going to try to get back to recording artwork. I've been editing pages for my Manga Eternal. I don't have any on hand right now. If you've never seen it before, um, go to my website right over there. You see that? Go to my website, and you can read the first four chapters for free, man. Completely free. I've made adjustments to the uh, to the to uh, Eternal recently. I have uh, added ink halos to each character. So now you should be able to read um, each chapter a lot better. And if you can't, um, get glasses because I literally traced over each and every character with white ink to make sure that they are more legible. That was like 250 pages worth of editing that I did over the past few months. So feel free to enjoy the first four chapters for free. Um, I'm going to try to make this a 10 minute uh, video. That's what's up with that. I recently saw a cool anime called uh, God of high school i'm not done watching it yet there's i'm still i'm like two episodes um i'm two episodes away from finishing the series so that's gonna be cool to, um it's pretty cool so far i like it i like it it's pretty interesting the fight scenes are very frenetic and crazy and that's the way i love it it's the way i like it frenetic and crazy fight scenes definitely um i got a new controller uh i have i've had this controller for a while now this is the sega saturn wireless it is really cool if you have never if you're a fighting game fan like i am and you want to um be able to pull off those super moves really well get yourself a sega saturn controller this is not sponsored by um them or retro pie or anything like that but this controller is amazing. It, the cursor on it moves so well and fluidly. And the Xbox controller, it doesn't really do that that well. It's kind of stiff. And, and, and when you're trying to pull off a super move, you can't have stiff analog controller like that. You just can't. So I got this. This is really cool. If you have a Sega Saturn, guess what? They got a dongle that you can attach right there to your sega saturn that's crazy right it's like a 25 year old console but they made new new um hardware for it it's crazy i'm amazed by that i really am and it's officially licensed by sega and uh put together by retro pie i'm gonna keep my eye on them because this is really cool and i think that that was a really good idea also it comes with a case it says uh, it's got a heart thing on it right there. It says retro is retro bit, not retro pie. And it says I love something. I can't read Japanese. It looks like Japanese. So if you can tell what that says, write it in the comments and let me know because I have no idea. But this case is really cool. Look how shiny it is. It's so fancy. I've never had a controller um set up this fancy before it's so crazy i love it um my brother went ahead and got me my brother marco got me a few um a few uh funko pops i had never had funko pops before but he got me some rick and morty funko pops so now they're sitting on my desk watching me as i work on my art it's really cool that's morty right there Looking dope. Boom. 
And then he got me some uh, One Punch Man stuff too. So I got these set up. Here's Genos right there. Boom. Like Chibi Genos hanging out. And then we got Lord Boros. The last guy in first season the side time I fought. So yeah, now I now I got some one punch man uh keeping me company over here. If you didn't know before, I do have Saitama originally right here. I got him right here. He's hanging out along with Piccolo over here on my uh on my PC. So that's really cool. It does have the cape, it just fell off. That's how that is. I guess that's how that goes. Um, I have another controller. This is the one I use this one for Sekiro type games and uh Dark Souls. Games like that. You know, hack and slash type games. I always use this controller. It's really great. The game, sir. Really cool. My new apartment, I got new keys. And this is really cool because this key is a magnetic key. Isn't that cool? It's a magnetic key. I've never had a magnetic key before. That's really interesting to me. I'm sure y'all are like, that's not interesting to me. It's interesting to me because I've always used regular keys. But that's really cool. That goes to my apartment. Um, I've had to move everything, kind of condense everything into one small thing. Um, as you can see from this thing over here, uh, that is my uh, chopping block over there for my books. And uh, I've actually had to condense my living room into my office, into my bedroom. So now my bed is right over there. And there is my TV on the wall, and there is my chopping block right there. Sonia's TV for her PC is right there. That's my Cintiq. I've kind of had to move everything into one room, but that's okay. It makes things more efficient, you know? Makes things more efficient. I wake up, boom, get straight to work. I wake up, and then when I get to when it's time to go to bed, boom, I get in bed, turn my TV on. Hooked up to my PC, bam, watch whatever I want to watch. It's all good. You got to downgrade sometimes. You got to downsize sometimes. So a lot of businesses have to downsize in order to survive. That's what I'm doing. I'm downsizing a little bit. So that's what's up. I'm continuing work on Eternal. Um, I've resized a bunch of books. Well, I've resized two books. And added the uh, the Halo uh, fixed pages. So both books, you should be able to see things a lot more clearly now. So they're ready to print. All I got to do now is print it on my printer. By the way, this is what I got set up for my printer over here. Oh, I can't go around. There's not enough, there's not enough cable. My printer is like right around the PC over here. But, um, but yeah. Um, my 11 by 17 printer is right over there and I use it to print my books. Everything is in one small space. Everything is more accessible and there's no interruptions, no walls, no nothing. And it's all good. It all works out in the end. And if I ever get enough of a client list, maybe I'll be able to save up for my own house. That would be nice. That's the goal, right? Ain't that the American dream? Save up for your own house, get that white picket fence, whatever. 2.5 kids. <laughs> 2.5 kids. I already have my daughter, Sonia. So I'm, I think I'm halfway there. I'm good with just one kid. My daughter is my world. She's my sweetheart. Most important woman in the world is my daughter. That's just the way that it is. Oh, man. Anyways. Yeah, that's what's been going on with me, man. I had to move. I had to move, y'all. But it's all good. It's all good. I moved to a more robust location. Where I was before, didn't have very many people in it. And now, I got a bunch of people walking around. Very lively. I like it. I might check out a coffee shop down the street. Who knows? Then maybe they got a coffee shop around here I can hang out at at some point. That would be really cool. 
Anyway, six seconds. I'm look. I'm looking at the watch because I want to make this a ten minute video. There it is. Ten minutes. Boom. Right on the dot. I didn't want to make y'all sit through a whole bunch of stuff. I know I've been very silent lately. Very, very quiet. Some of y'all been falling off and I'm subscribing. That's understandable. I mean, like, hey, you got you I, you got to stick around where the content is, right? And if there's no content, then why are you sticking around, right? That's understandable. I understand. Um, I have been thinking about trying to do animation. But at the same time, I want to keep the story going for Eternal. So I don't really know what to do. Um, I might animate the first chapter of Eternal. At least so people will, it'll generate some interest in reading the book. At least, you know. So I'm going to try to do that. I do want to look into it. It looks, in, it looks like it will be fun. Um, somebody from that works with me, Kenya, told me that I should try it. And he's right. I should give it a shot. You know, he said that I'm already halfway there. I know how to draw at least. So all I got to do is add something to my skill set. So I'm going to, I'm going to give that a shot. All for all systems forward, you know. All right. That's all for now. Thank you all for watching. I don't want to make this too long. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. And if you want to share my, my, my speed lapse art videos with your friends, Please, by all means, go ahead and do that. Shout out from the mountaintops. All that good stuff. All right, y'all. Catch you later. Take care. Peace.